on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good Good afternoon. No, good morning. Happy Tuesday, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. So today, <coughs> excuse me, we are decorating my bedroom and my theme in here is kind of like pottery varnish but not rustic but like warm cozy comfort in um big wrap you up in a big hug familiar but pretty yeah so if it, it makes sense in my head anyway so i'm doing like red and green here but it's not like the traditional green i don't think no it's not like the traditional green it's more like a darker hunter green so i'm doing that and i don't quite know what we're doing on the tree yet we're just gonna wing it um i definitely have some little pops of red in here and i love that i have some little pops of red i'm gonna show you all the things that i'm working with i got new sheets from pottery barn so I'm super excited about those because they're just going to bring the Christmassy feel. I put my white duvet back on the bed to kind of symbolize snow <clears throat> because my tree in here is flocked and I have like some frosted um, berries in here. So we're just going to do what we got to do and see what we come up with. So let me give you a rundown of all the things that we have. So I got these lip branches. I don't know if I showed you these in the past vlog, but I got these lip branches from Amazon and I love them. The only thing about them is they have a cord. So because it's in my bedroom though, it's fine. Like I don't mind the cord and the way I'll do them will be, um, you won't be able to really see it. Then I got these berries here. I just got three stems of these big berries that I got from uh, Michael's. I have my sled. I don't know quite where I'm going to use that at, but I've had it for some years. I have two of them, actually, but I brought that one out. Then I have my glass trees that I'm going to put in spaces. Y'all know I love glass trees. Um, I have them all around the house. These I love, though, like the color on them. I think I got these from Hobby Lobby last year. And this is a home goods find. This is a Target find. Um, I got some more red small berries from michael's i got this sign from at home last year these are the oh i love these so much these are the ornaments that i'm going to use on the tree i think i'm going for like a traditional look but with a twist so i think i might use this ribbon um i'm not going to use any black i don't think because i have these bows that I made that I would just have to fluff out, but I don't think I'm gonna use black, but I do think I'm gonna use this ribbon to just kind of like tuck in the tree, but we'll see what else we are working with in here. I'll see exactly how much of that I do have, I'm not using any of those. I'll see exactly how much of this I do have. And then that will determine whether or not we're using these or not but we'll see so it's basically mainly gold accents in here um i have my garland so i had this garland downstairs on the entryway and i did something different with the entryway so i brought it up here i'm using another glass tray i picked up from home goods i brought it up here so if you can see my bed i kind of put one of the garlands in the back um one of the garlands in the back on the back of the bed. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to leave it there or whether I'm not. I definitely want one on... I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way. I definitely want, probably want to put one on my mirror. But I'm not sure. I'll let you know. We'll figure it out in the video. But let's just get started. Oh, let me show you all these ornaments that I got from the Special to Christmas store. Christmas store. So here are, here's my tree. Here's our tree in our room. It's a seven and a half foot flocked slim tree. It's not a pencil, it's a slim tree. And I just have this lantern here. I was thinking about how it may look because I may go get another one, but we'll see. Um, I have the tree skirt down here. 
And I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to keep the tree skirt right here or whether I'm going to bring the gold collar that I have downstairs up here and put the tree skirt down there. Haven't quite decided yet, but let me show y'all these ornaments. So y'all know I talk about my little bougie Christmas store all the time. So they had these ornaments and I just couldn't leave them in the store. Like I had to go get them. They are so Y'all, look at this. Like, look how gorgeous that is. Stay still, honey. Stay still. Look, look at that. Look at the detail on it. Oh, and it gives off some green, and it's just beautiful. So, I was going to add red in the tree as far as, like, run to Hobby Lobby and go get some red balls, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think the little pops of red that I have in here may be sufficient, but we'll see. I think I want to keep the tree all green like I purposed before and then just have little pops of red around the room. But let's get started. <laughs> So first things first, if you know, you know, even though my sheets are brand new, anytime I bring home brand new sheets or brand new towels or anything that I have to put my body on, I go ahead and wash them. So I just put this on the light cycle, um, steamed it nice and dry when it was finished washing. And I'm always going to do this anytime I bring home any kind of linen. I wasn't going to get these sheets and I was like, oh, that's a little extra you're doing a lot. But I love the look of having Christmas bedding on during the holiday season. So I just decided to go ahead and get the um, sheet set. I started to buy the comforters that they had in the store, but I was like, mm, no, I'll just wait. And I'll just use my white duvet because it's universal. It goes with everything. Six by 26 euro sham pillows however i did not have the color in the pillows that i wanted to have and i just wasn't about to buy anything else and plus i really kind of wanted to see the plaid pillowcases that went with the sheet set so i just used these 18 by 18 pillows that i already had i had some in gold had a couple in white and since they match with the bedroom i just decided to go ahead and use those and of course, I had to use my Blanta pillow because I got him last year at Target and I loved him. I have two lumbar pillows. The one you see here in the plastic is one I got from Target. And I should have gotten another one to put on the opposite side of the Santa pillow. I still might go back and get it, but for now, it'll do what I needed to do. Progress over perfection. I am so happy and so excited to be having this video and to have it recorded and to have it done. I love the way my bedroom looks. So just stay tuned. Thinking about what's happened to me from July. 
up till now Don't know where, don't know how Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So it's true, I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to hide but falling in love For the longest time, perfection has kept me from recording certain areas in my home. Just like my bedroom you see here. You see the cords hanging down. I despise any kind of cords. I hate to see them. And so for the longest time, perfection has kept me from um, recording certain areas. Also, like my fluctuation in weight and water has also kept me because I don't like the way that I look on camera. But I just decided to throw perfection to the side because there's no such thing. I just decided to throw it away because I was holding my own self up from doing the things it is that I was wanting to do, from doing the things it is that I was called to do. So I say that to encourage you. If there's something that you want to do, but you feel like you don't have the tools to do it, or you feel like you don't, you know, it's not going to look right, or it's not going to do this, or you're stuck on having that perfected perfectionist look and you're stuck in a perfectionist mindset i encourage you to get out of that and i encourage you to just go for it and do it anyway you will be surprised at how much of a blessing that you are to others and to yourself you will also be surprised at how much you flourish in that thing and you'll probably be a little bit upset at yourself that you waited so long to do it tidbits and tips like throughout the week but don't feel like you have to run out every year and buy a brand new christmas decor every year those bows that i just showed you are bows that i made about three years ago with some really good quality ribbon that i bought one thing i do every year is if i'm going to change a theme or if i'm going to um to keep my theme that i'm already working with looking fresh if i don't want to repurchase all Christmas decor because I don't every year. If I don't want to repurchase all Christmas decor, I will upgrade my ribbon every single year. And when you buy and purchase a good quality ribbon, even though your bows may be flattened throughout the remainder of the year, but they will puff right back up just like these are with a little bit of adjusting. So make sure that one of the things you invest in is quality products, but 
quality ribbon is the way to go. So here you just see me fluffing out and bringing some life back into these bows that I had originally made. Bows take a long time to make y'all. And so I'm not going to throw them away. And if I can figure out a way to reuse them every year to make my decor look fresh and make it look new, then that's precisely what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wanna have a holiday, yeah, yeah. Let's have a jolly holiday. Angels, we have heard on her sweetly singing all the plains and the mountains in reply, echoing the joyous strains. Gloria in excelsis Deo Gloria in excelsis Deo Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? What the gladsome tidings be, which inspire your happy song? Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
say this, while you are taking the time out to make sure that all of your holiday decor is beautiful, making sure that all that your tree is gorgeous and beautiful, do not forget the bottom of the tree. Don't forget to dress the bottom of the tree as well. Don't neglect this area. You don't have to do the most, but a beautiful tree skirt or some type of gorgeous blanket or think outside the box and you can use a tablecloth. If you have like a sequence tablecloth, you can use that and then just add little elements to the bottom of your tree. Here you see me using lanterns and I use a couple of other things. But if your tree skirt does not fluff the way mine does, you see how mine pillows, if yours doesn't, yours doesn't do that, you can always take some books or something like that something to make it rise to put up underneath it to give it a little bit more height and that gives it a little bit more dimension as well but do not neglect the bottom of your tree Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've 
been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday